Hi, this is Dr. Chenick, and today I want to talk to the audience, but also to President Trump, and make a few suggestions for his next uh, four years. I'm quite sure he'll be reelected, so I thought it would be timely for him to think of reorganization. Number one, in the White House, I think it's imperative, Mr. President, to get rid of Peter. Uh, Navarro. And the reason for that is that he is cantankerous, he is obstreperous. In other words, he's a pain in the ass. The person you want instead of him is Mike Pillsbury. I don't know him personally, he's not my friend, but I've known about him for about 20 to 30 years. He was in the Reagan administration with me, George W. Bush, and he's a certified Chinese scholar who speaks Mandarin. The next two people you want to get rid of are the ones who went to West Point, Pompeo and Esper. Pompeo should be taken over Secretary of State by Bob O'Brien. Why O'Brien? Number one, he's a very effective lawyer. Number two, he worked with uh, Kushner very effectively on the peace treaties in Israel and in the Middle East, and he will continue that. But as Secretary of State, we need a lawyer very much like Baker, and very much like Cyrus Vance, who's modest very bright, and he himself has increased the, his own law firm, Aaron Fox, from 10 to 110 offices. So he knows how to manage the State Department and now how to make deals. Underneath him should be Nikki Haley from The Indian Woman, who in fact was in the UN, and she in turn can take over Zameh Khalazad, who's not done very well over the four years on the Afghanistan Treaty. She in turn can use her connections in India, Pakistan, and elsewhere in order to cut that deal very quickly. We've only been there 18 years, and I suspect that Zameh couldn't really effectively terminate this deal because he's not a good strategist or a negotiator. Number, the other person we have to get rid of is, is Esper. And uh, the Secretary of Defense really has not been very good. Like Pompeo, they both went to West Point. They're self-aggrandizing. They're not really military men. But we have to concentrate on two aspects of the new world. One is cyber communication. The other one is Space Force. My suggestion for Secretary of Defense is General Nakasone. I do not know him personally. He's a third-generation Japanese-American. His father was a colonel in military intelligence during World War II, and he has a very impressive history. He went to St. John's University and then became a four-star general in the Army. His mentor was somebody I do know very well. It was Keith Alexander, National Security Advisor, NSA Director, and Nakasone's NSA director. Underneath him should be a general who is uh, Brown, who is an Air Force general, and he's a four-star. And the reason I want him there is while Nakasone's doing cyber command, General Brown is an Air Force general, also did not go to the academy, can do space warfare. And so the military will be reorganized according to the future of warfare, which will be cyber command and space warfare. Then we come to education, and unfortunately Betty DeVos did not do well. She's not been very effective, but there is a gentleman from the South, Chattanooga, Tennessee, named Brian Johnson, I believe an African American, who can effectively take over and understands that the new education of the 21st century has to be practical, has to be in place, and has to have a job orientation. Those are the concerns that I would have, and those are the people that I would reorganize. Let me quote to you Calvin Coolidge, who said the following, the difference between a mob and a workforce was organization, and that's what you will need in the 21st century. Thank you, and good night.